Hello. <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of another Micro Machines Series 3 World Pack. Now, two weeks ago, I did the Fire and Rescue and Protection Force unboxings from Series 3. Today, I'm going to be doing the Construction Crew next. Right off the bat, we can already tell that the Construction Crew is a bit of a is a bit of a reference from the series two in which all the vehicles are orange, but we've got some different vehicles this time. Oh, just so you know, so you're not hunting around, this pack has got no rare, ultra rare or treasure chasers. So you're not gonna see any of these vehicles with any of those colors. Let's get this opened. So here are all the vehicles out of the box. Let's get the scenery out. Oh, here's another collection list. Of course, as you know, knowing micro machines, there's always a collection list in every single one. And just like from last week's unboxing, they're all pretty much the same. I'll show it again at the end of the video so you can take a good look at all the vehicles. Now, I actually got the Series 2 construction set with me so I can compare. Before we compare the vehicles, I'm going to... Before I take the vehicles out, we're going to have a look at the scenery that came with it. And here it is. Now, right off the bat, this is easily a recall of the same scene used in Series 2. The major difference this time is that on this one, it seems to have a colour theme which seems to look more like daytime, whilst the one from Series 2 kind of look, looks like something from nighttime with darker colours. one side. Now let's get all these vehicles out. You may have noticed that I untangled these during the protection force last week because it's easier to do it off camera but you're not going to miss much trust me. The first vehicle we've got is the crane. Just like all micro machines that have a moving mechanism, this one's got a rubber band on. Just give me a sec while I snip it off. Here we go. And just like the crane from series two, you can move that up and down and you can even extend or shrink the, the crane the, the crane is so. Now let's have a look at let's have a look at what it looks like compared to the one from series two. Here's the same one again from series two. If I'm gonna be honest, it's slightly more of an improvement. The most obvious thing we can already see is that this one has actually got a bit more colour. And there's an MC on here, which stands, which I believe stands for Micro City. Another obvious difference is the window tint. In series two, they were black, they were black, but in series three, they're more grey. Also, looks like they lacked a bit of colour on the front here, whereas on this one they didn't. We have a symbol here which seems to look like a barbell of some kind. The types that are used in big, that are used in big skyscrapers. But for this one, it's missing it. Personally, in my opinion, I like the one from Series 3 more because it's got a bit more colour and variety to it. Just getting the next vehicle out now. And the next one we have is the dump truck.
Once again, this has got a moving mechanism. Just hang on a bit while I snip it off. Whoops. <clears throat> but yeah, as it's been a dump truck, you already know what's obvious. The back end tips out like this. The only other the only other dump truck that I know that has two tone two tone colour like that is the one from the construction set from series one. But let's get what the vehicle looks like from se from series two and compare it to this one. Just like from series three, I pretty much prefer the series three one better. We've got a bit more of that MC again, and we have that and that barbell from this one. Looks like they lacked a bit of colour again. But it's still pretty much got the details overall. And between the wheels, I like how they actually re re coloured them in Series 3. But on Series 2, we don't get any colour wheels at all. I know I haven't worn out this toy. The wheels were black when I got it. Right, just, just getting the next one out now. Now, the next one we have is the bulldozer. Hmm, the colour theme on this one is a bit different than the one compared to, seri compared to the other series. As far as I can remember, the bulldozer has only appeared in, series one, in a Series 1 starter set and for Supervan City as an exclusive orange. So let's compare it with the yellow one from Series 1. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not real. I'm not really too good. Of a I don't really like how the top is just plain a green colour, but I like how they change the scoop colour more. I think it looks better like that. It seems to be missing those back windows that the that the yellow one already has. Not sure if you can tell, but the window screen on this one is grey as well, just like the others. And we only just have a tiny MC right there. It's a bit hard to focus, but it is there. It says MC. Another thing I've also noticed is that the Caterpillar tracks, they're even darker than the one from Series 1. So personally, in my opinion, between this one and this one, I would say that... Even though this one's got a bit of an ir irregular scoop colour, I like this one more than the Series 3 one. Right, here's the... Right, just getting out the next one. The second to last one we have is the backhoe. Out of all the others I've seen, this is probably my but this is probably the best detailed one that I've ever seen. So we've just got a scooping mechanism here and the scoop at the front just like the bulldozer. Now let's take a look. Now let's take a look at that compared to what it looked like from series one, from the same starter kit that I showed the bulldozer in earlier. So if we have a compare to that between series one and series three, we can see that the one from series one three has actually has got a lot more detail added to it compared to the original. And the window screens this time are black instead of, instead of grey. I'm actually quite surprised. The grill colour has also been changed to black instead of grey, just like from Series 1. And the most obvious difference is the, is, the back, is the backhoe mechanism here. This one's got the MC on, just like Micro City. So between them both, I would say that they actually did a good job adding more detail to the Series 3 one.
And now for the last one, which is actually which is actually a new vehicle to this set. Well, you know what I mean. And the last one for the set is this Warlander. If I'm going to be honest, having a bit of a wall and a mix them with construction crew actually seems a bit off and unusual in my opinion. If anything, they should have they should have added it either the front they should have added either the front loader and the other or the excavator from series two. Now, the one thing I would like to point out about about this is you can actually get this in a blind bag in series three. can see it right here personally in my opinion <clears throat> they should have really added that to the blind bag series and included the green version of this for the construction crew series and I'm pretty sure that most of you agree as well But aside this, let's actually compare this with a Warlander from another Micro Machine set. I've pretty much got all I've pretty much got all of them from the blind bag. <clears throat> from the blind bag, which I uh, which I opened off screen and more. So to compare, I'm gonna get I'm going to use this Warlander from the Haw from the Hauler series one. We've got the grey window again, the MC there. And of course, this one's got the stripes on. Pretty much, it, lo it looks like all the details are put together and they didn't lack anything out from the others. Well, except for the black part here, it's missing. So there we go. <clears throat> That's all the that's all the micro machines from Series Three Construction Crew. Now, in all honesty, even though that mo most people claim that Series Three is a bit is a bit of a bad one so far because of all the all the lack of colours and details and whatnot. Call me crazy, call me crazy, but I actually personally like this one overall. They actually showed di different t different color variations to actually bring it out. But if I were to pick a favorite from this set, I would have to go for obviously the crane. I was going to pick the backhoe, but in my opinion, the gr the crane actually look looks good like this. And it's not just because of the moving mechanism, but the fact that they actually added the two-tone colour variety to really make it stand out. Now, out of all the unboxings from Micro Machine Series 3, in the previous parts, I already did the blue Fire and Rescue and the white Protection Force. And today, I've just done the green Construction Crew. So the next one I'm going to think about unboxing will be the supercars. I haven't seen any of these starter packs up out of my country yet, but I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to show you the collection list one last time as promised, just so that way you can take a good look at all the vehicles we're getting in Series 3. Now, from what I've seen, <clears throat> from what I've seen regarding Series 4, in Series 4, we're actually set to get some more interesting vehicles, such as like the Pontiac Firebird or the Baghetti Va Va Devo. Just give me a sec while I get it up. Here we go. So this is an example of what we're going to get in Series 4. Of course, I'm going to be keeping a lookout for this. 
but I hope that, that but from what I've seen on future YouTube videos it looks like that they're actually going to redeem themselves in series four and above since we're going to get lots of new cars and lots of new interesting variants so they don't look like a lazy job but once I unbox these I would personally say my favourite would have to be the Baghetti Devo. Another interest one which I like is the 1992 Baghetti Evo Super Sport. So that's pretty much all there is from this video. In my next video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the next world pack, which will be the supercars. Or either of the starter packs, whichever ones comes first. I'll let you pause the video so you can have a look at all these vehicles on the list. And now for the other side. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Hasbro will actually redeem themselves when they do the Micro Machines in Series 3. Because as you saw in the picture I showed earlier, we're expecting some good officially branded cars. Personally, between them, <clears throat> the one that I'm looking forward to compared to Pontiac and the Baghetti is obviously the Baghetti Diva from 2019. That's all there is on this video and I'll see you in the next unboxing video. Bye.